made them into skewers. A little bit of oil on it. I'm going to shove this and I'm going to put it in. Because he got his clothes so Okay, I've rigged my thermometer onto the handle of my pot. Mm. Pretty much just hot coals. I'm just going to let it kind of slow cook for a while. I normally do. Well, I now do. I used. I didn't used to. You can hear it sizzling now. I'm just going to take one stick out and just let it run with one. And just see if that's enough. Our rice has come to a boil. It's been about an hour and 25 minutes. No, We're at 156 degrees. I just read the package. This is a three pound, four ounce chicken. And it's said to expect it to cook for between an hour and a half and two hours. And I think that was just about exactly an hour and a half. I'm going to let its temperature go a little higher than 160. Oh, don't worry Pull out the probe. Pot grabbers will actually fit around there and really grip onto that well. So I'll be able to lift this out of here. Hopefully it'll stay on. And check it out. Oh my gosh. It worked? Yeah, it, it worked. Smells amazing. It's not burned at all. I mean, this the skin could be more crispy, but... I think it's fully cooked. Looks good, huh? Uh, give me some. Oh yeah, it's totally done. Try to pull this bird off. Whoa. You want some of this breast, Tyler? Yeah. Can I have a leg? Well, I mean, uh, I forgot what you call it. Drumstick? Yeah. Yeah, you can have a drumstick. I want a drumstick and a wing. Just eight foods. So but it's good. super juicy, huh? Mm -hmm. You can cut, tell cut. how moist it's it is. It's also super hot. You like these kind of beans? Green yeah. beans? Emma, let me see your plate. I'm a little concerned that I may have burned it. I think if we're just careful with it, we'll be okay. Let me put some butter on your rice. Yeah. The chicken was really moist, huh? Mm. You know, the rice is good too. Mm. That's a good dinner. Get enough to eat? Yeah. I'm stuffed. So cold. You want... And then they went into a different room. Yeah, I'm not sure they No. It's about 6.45 in the morning. What's going on, dude? You coming out? Right position. Good morning. That making is good. Yeah. Fireball stove the calm.
thing is that you pull the trailer out for one day and come back to two. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good Give it some good flavor. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's a little tiny one. Who wants the first one? Ooh, look at that. One of the spiders. Mm. That's good stuff. I'm just going to set my flame guard on there. While that water's coming to a boil, I'm going to set up this firebox. Don't let it block your thermal column. Okay, my water's boiling. I'm actually going to use this spoon as my tongs. I'm going to break this yolk into my hash browns. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm setting up base camp. Why is mom's the expert and dad's all the experts of cutting with knives? Sounds like our potatoes have come to a boil. Let's go ahead and add some salt. Dad, I'm gonna, wait, Dad, I'm gonna eat this one. And we'll put the lid. You wanna eat that one? Okay. I got one. Put them in there so they'll get cooked. Let's see if I can get these beans out of here. <laughs> if I can stab a potato. I think the potatoes might be done too, babe. Okay. <laughs> it's really big. That's amazing. Yeah. That is quite a tree. You are. Okay, we're going to add back the garlic, mash those spuds up, just like they did in prehistoric times. Primitive style. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I lifted this steak up, and I put this steak below it, because I'm just trying to, trying to get to some more heat for the new steak, but I want this steak to stay warm while I'm cooking the second steak. Bring over this beautiful steak. These garlic mash are looking pretty tasty. I want garlic. Let's take a look here. Oh wow. 
green beans, garlic mashers, and steak, New York steak. Mmm, that is good. Mmm, that's really good. Mm, this other steak is almost done. Mmm, look at that. So what do you think? This is really good. Is that a success? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow, that was a really nice piece of steak. Yeah. It's down to just the last few coals in there. Enough to keep something warm. But did us a good job. I didn't have to feed the fire at all using that Swedish fire torch method. Mm. We got it all done. It's just Ooh, I disappearing. Want that piece. It's disappearing. I wanted this thing. You did. Do you love it? Oh. That was the best piece yet. You got the best one. Look at that. Mm. Now that browned. It meat. got a nice. It got a nice crust on it for sure. Mm, look good. Even at a high use campground, Is this good, Daddy? you can find Is this good? wood Daddy. that will work for a firebox. Are these good? Yep, that's this? perfect. And this? Yep, those are perfect. Let's just make a little pile right here next to the firebox. Oh, you know what? That's a pretty good little pile. Okay, we'll check back when we actually build our fire. Put it on YouTube? Yep. You're going to be a star on YouTube. Does that sound fun? Yeah. <laughs> they look good. I love about camping that it's just about basic needs. Here it is, morning. Getting warm by the fire. Hi. Oh. Whoa! Off. That totally illustrates that secondary combustion air. Creek Falls. Three mile hike in. Woo. Okay, let's check those beans. Okay, the beans are hot. No, I love the cheese. The cheese? Hand me the cheese. There's a wasp in, in the cheese. There's a wasp in the cheese bag? Yeah. That's okay. Cook him. Cook him. Cook him and eat him. Yeah, I'm not going to eat that. You can see how cheesy that is getting all melted in there. Smile, Isla. Smile. Yeah, give him a kiss. So we're just on our way home from hey. the camping trip. Hank the Sheriff. Decided to say hello to Hank the Sheriff.